Am I the asshole? For making my parents choose between my sister going to jail or replacing my car with their vacation money. I f 17 live with my parents. I have an older sister that they had when they were super young. Like I think my mom was 19 and my dad was 18. They did not do a great job with her and she has a lot of problems. She is chronically unemployed and she is a thief. She has two kids that are okay. They live with us as well because her boyfriend didn't want them around. I like the kids but they are spoiled little brats my parents don't want to make up for being shitty parents to their mom. My parents won't let me put a lock on my door because it is their house and they don't want that. No problem. I talked to the kids and explained about what would happen if they came into my room without permission. We have an understanding. Well my sister broke up with her boyfriend and she needed a place to stay. I begged my parents not to let her stay with us. They declined. So I begged again for a lock for my door. No dice. I have to go to school so I can't guard my stuff at all times. When I came home on Friday I found my car absolutely trashed and the side of it destroyed. My sister had gone into my room, found my spare key and taken my car. Then lost control on the ice after a day of eating crap and tossing fast food wrappers everywhere. She sideswiped a tree. When I saw my car I was livid. I told my parents that I expected her to pay to fix it. They said she didn't have any money. So I said that I would call my grandparents. They had helped me get the car and insurance. After talking with my grandfather I came back to talk to my parents. I said that the insurance would cover fixing or replacing my car depending on the damage. But that I would have to file a police report. And that my sister would probably be charged for stealing my car. They begged me to tell insurance that she had permission. I said no. So rather than go through insurance they are replacing my car. But they are using money that they had set aside to take me and my nieces to Orlando next summer for my graduation. It's fine. I can do without seeing Disney World again. But my parents, sister, and nieces are upset with me and saying that I'm an asshole for denying my nieces the opportunity to go on a vacation that they have never had. I just asked them if a lock for my door would have been cheaper. Am I the asshole? Edit. Hey! I just got home from school. There is a deadbolt on my bedroom door. And my mom gave me a key. She says that she is keeping the other one for emergency. I agreed as long as it was only for emergencies. I would find a safer spot than your parents' house for all your important documents. Social security card, passport, birth certificate, anything like that. Maybe keep it at your grandparents. Not the asshole, and you still need a lock. Not the asshole, your parents could go the cheaper route and send your sister to jail for grand theft and teach her they won't always bail her out, then no ruined vacation either. Not the asshole. Sounds like you should go live with your grandparents. But nobody blames your sister? Criminy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole and your parents are still bad parents to her and to her kids. Letting kids get away with everything and not having to face consequences is, emo, abusive because then they have no idea how to function in the real world. If your parents had actually learned anything about parenting, they'd make your sister deal with this or would at least force her to get a job to repay them. If they did that, then the kids wouldn't miss out on Disney. Every single aspect of this has been your parents' fault, and they are still failing. Ha they could have gotten a $5 $10 lock, but now have to spend thousands of dollars on a car. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She made the choice to steal your car. They made the choice to shield her from the consequences of her actions. I can only assume that this isn't the first time since you referred to her as a thief. Not the asshole play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I just asked them if a lock for my door would have been cheaper. Legend. Not the asshole and that last line killed me. Romantic face. Just one thought about that lock would they agree if you offered to give one of them a spare key? That seems pretty reasonable to me. Not the asshole. It sucks for your nieces, but honestly the sooner they learn that this is the consequence of their mother and their grandparents choices, the better. In the long term. You're setting a good example for those kids, as the only principled person around. You're right, a lock would have been cheaper. Ta. Info where is your mom keeping the emergency key? Is it where your sister can get at it? At least you've got a camera in your room. Super not the asshole. They enable your sister's shit behavior they can clean up her messes. Not the asshole. Well that was an expensive lesson you are better than me. I would have turned into a fire demon when I saw my car. 
Have your parents put your sister out yet? Not the asshole. Tell your nieces that it was your sister who cost them their trip, not you. Not the asshole speak with your grandparents and until you're 18 move in with them. When you're asked why, explain that you don't feel safe living in a household where you're treated like a second class person isn't right and you no longer feel safe. Info what has your sister said about all of this, other than she thinks that you are mean for taking a trip to Disney World away from her kids? Not the asshole. By luck and I'm so sorry you have parents like this and such a vile person as your sibling, if is anyone to blame, is her. Hey, real quick, I just want to let you know that you're doing incredibly well. You have a better head on your shoulders than people 10 years your senior not just your sister, other, less disastrous people. You're going to do great in college and as an adult, and I'm sorry your parents and sister aren't helping you excel. Not the asshole, obviously. Not the asshole. Your parents are toxic and your sister is a rat. It's about time for your sister to realize that she can't get away with this at all. And it's time for your parents to stop condoning your sister's behavior as well. File the police report. That will scare your sister straight. And maybe she'll think twice next time. If she hasn't killed herself from her recklessness. So they're making you pay for a WR trip? I hope they start saving up to celebrate her graduation still at least. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'd be wary of your mom having the spare deadlock key. If your parents were willing to manipulate you into not having your sister charged, they could easily give someone else the key to avoid a new family drama. Not the asshole. And when you turn 18 and graduate high school, get the fuck out of there as soon as you are able to support yourself. Not the asshole your sister's actions have consequences. You should point out that you also had set a scenario where you could have locked your room and none of this would have happened. Your sister is a known thief, what did your parents really expect was going to happen? Not the asshole. You saw this potential scenario arising and asked your parents to take some proactive action. They also then chose not to support filing a police report and further protected your sister. This decision was on them, and not you, for why your nieces aren't going to Disneyland. Not the asshole. It was your sister's actions that caused this mess. Not being able to go on vacation is the consequence of her actions. She is an adult, she can't blame anyone but herself. If she feels bad enough, she can get a job and pay for the money used. Your parents need to stop the enabling. You didn't deny your sister's children anything she did so with her dishonesty and theft, and your parents have enabled her while endangering you and your belongings. I'd ask them to replace your car with a van so you have somewhere else to live. Not the asshole and I hope you make it out okay. Not the asshole. Truthfully. I don't think your sister will learn any lesson until she faces direct consequences such as going to jail. The money is technically your parents so it does not have any direct impact on her financially unless your parents find a way to make her pay back the money. Don't feel bad, you are not in the wrong. You wouldn't be in the wrong even if you caused your sister to go to jail. You should move out as soon as you can, though. Staying in a toxic household will be a lot on your mental health. Not the asshole. I hope she has a plan to keep that spare key hidden from your sister. I'd kinda have a feeling they're not gonna pay for it. I'd file the police report anyway not the asshole. Not the asshole your sister can get a job and replace the money your parents had to take from their vacation fund. Nta. Your parents suck. Not the asshole would it be possible for you to stay with your grandparents? You are absolutely right your sister is out of control and it's not your fault that the vacation funds will be depleted it's your sister's fault. If your parents or your nieces want to say something and blame you for it say no if she wouldn't have taken my car we wouldn't be in this position. Not the asshole. It isn't you who killed the trip to Disney it's your sister. Your parents can try to blame you all they want, but this was all a result of her choices. Good for you for standing up to your entire family when they were pressuring you to do something so obviously wrong. And lovely job asking them if the lock would have been cheaper. Definitely not the asshole op but I hope you're prepared for okay. We put a lock on your door, will you play along with the cop's insurance now? Nta who is the registered owner of the car, you're still a minor so I'm not sure if it's you or your parents. But only the registered owner can file with the police. If it's you, I would file since sister seems to not want to learn and grow even though she has kids. I would go ahead and put a lock on your door one with a biometric lock and alerts to cell phone. As far as the trip, it sucks for the nieces and their mom should make it up by getting a job and earnings the money to replace the fund. It's not on you they aren't going. It's on, her and your parents for enabling her. Not the asshole. None of this is on you. 
You seem like the type not afraid to set boundaries and stand up for yourself. You're going to do just fine in life. I'm virtually high-fiving you for the line about how the lock would have been cheaper. Epic. Not the asshole. I think the sooner you get out of there the better. Can you stay with your grandparents? Not the asshole well maybe she can get a job and repay her parents. Also please take your valuables out of the house.